In this video, I want to show how we can use Eldery Cover to measure structural coverage while we're running Google Tests. Now, this is the starting point. This is Visual Studio Code. Inside here, we can see the, the source file that I want to test. And what I've done is I've written some, some tests here using Google Test. And what I'm going to do is simply to let's build this and execute it. And let's check that all the tests pass. So uh, we're going to go and execute it. And we should find that the tests pass. And there we can see I've got uh, a number of tests and they've all run. So that's good. So now what I'd like to be able to do is to find out, well, how efficient is this testing? Have I executed all the code? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask LDRay Cover to instrument the source code that I'm testing. I've already analyzed it. I want to generate an instrument program and then I'm going to perform the build. Well, I'm not going to perform the build. I'm simply going to substitute the original source code with the instrumented code. So let's go and perform that. OK, so just wait for that to generate the instrumented program. Now it's substituted the original code. And if I go back into Visual Studio Code, we should be able to see if I take a look at my source code, it's now switched it to the instrumented code. So let's now go and do another build. Then I'm going to execute the tests just as I did before. Let's check they still pass. They do. So the instrumentation has not affected the code. Now let's go back into Eldery Cover and let's restore the source code as it was. And now inside of Eldery Cover, I'm going to be able to find out, well, how much of that code did we exercise? So I'm going to perform the dynamic coverage analysis. So this is now going to analyze the results and we should be able to find the coverage. OK, let's go and view a call diagram and we can see the coverage we've obtained. Or well, let's view this in a flow diagram. And there we can see very clearly exactly what we've executed. So we've got 72% statement coverage, 75% branch decision coverage. And I don't think there's any MCDC in this particular example. And there we can see very clearly in green the paths we've taken through the code. In red is the path we've not taken. So it looks like we've never executed it with three for one euro. So let's add some more tests. So let's close that down and let's go back into Visual Studio Code. And inside here, I'm going to add an additional test. Let's copy these. This is testing the three for one euro. And let's paste that into there. OK, and let's go and perform the, the build. Let's execute it and check they, they pass. So we should now have extra tests that run. So there we can see they've all passed. And now let's go do the same. And this time in Elder Recover, let's go and once again perform the build. So let's start that. That is now going to substitute the original code with the instrumented code. Once again, we can come back into here and we should be able to see that the code has been substituted. I may need just to refresh that. There we go. And now I can do my build. And once again, I'm going to execute, checking that my tests still pass. They do. And now I'm going to be able to go and put the source code back as it was. And we're going to be able to find out, have we increased the coverage? So once again, I'm going to simply perform the dynamic coverage analysis. And this time we should find we end up with the complete coverage. So I'll just wait for that to, to finish. And once again, once well, time, let's generate a report. Let's generate a code coverage report. And there we can see very clearly we have a 100% statement, 100% branch decision coverage. OK, so very rapidly, that's just a, a quick idea of how we're able to take existing test cases you've written with Google Test. We're able to execute them and at the same time, we're able to measure the structural coverage. If you'd like any more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRay. Thank you.